Hey everyone, it's Byron once again here to testify for Jesus Christ. Um, I had mentioned about October, November time frame when I was off. Uh, the thing that took the most time, the Lord showing me and teaching me, uh, was about judgment. And a lot of people that you listen to nowadays, and, in, and it's going to include myself, um, we spend a lot of time wondering what time we're in, what is the season and all that stuff. Uh, but we haven't put a lot of effort into, well, what's my role or what am I, what is expected of me during this season? The Lord has gone to, I think, great lengths to show me things that are coming that are personal to me and things that I believe that he expects of me. But during this period of the times I wasn't making videos, uh, he really stressed what I would call judgment. And this is not going to be all inclusive in this one video. There's going to it's going to take a couple of videos, probably two or three topics, just to really nail this down. But the one thing I want to say today is about judgment. I'm going to refer to two different videos to support this, which are not biblically related, but videos that the Lord led me to. <clears throat> and, and the word judgment, I'm not speaking of the contents of God's judgment of us. I'm speaking of the context of how we will be judges, but if we are judges, then we should be able to judge matters today, but not necessarily in an official sense, like two people come to us for judgment. But we can look at something and we can call a spade a spade. And this relates to salt of the earth, as I uh, will do in another video. I don't want to get these two mixed up. But biblically speaking, you can see in the Bible where the Lord expects there to be judgment among men. In one particular instance, he's talking about um, who's going to uh, render judgment for the widows uh, and the orphans, the fatherless. Uh, who's going to take care of the people that can't take care of himself? And within that context, looking at all inclusive, I was able to, to basically say, you know, it takes a person of judgment to stand um, for the inferior people. This even, uh, one of these videos I'm going to refer you to, even runs into talking a little about Robin Hood. Robin Hood uh, basically stole from the rich and gave to the poor. Well, he, he, he was considered an outlaw in the context of the setting or, or the story but in essence Robin was only making evil people who had gained a lot uh, repay back what they had stolen and you know <laughs> you can go into the tales of Robin Hood and see all that uh, but the Lord expects me I know me in particular to uh, uh, render judgment calling a spade a spade. A couple of examples of uh, modern day things like, you know, right now the, the actual president of the United States has gone forward with this uh, uh, homosexual marriage, um, the restroom things going on and all that stuff. Uh, you know, there comes a time when a man has to stand up and say what a man believes. And, you know, I, I, I believe in the Bible. I know 100% for certain that, you know, that's wrong. Uh, it doesn't matter how somebody may pretend that they came about it. Paul tells us in Romans uh, how it comes about. And that's just basically that not serving God as God or not uh, treating God as God will bring you to uh, the place of homosexuality, period. I mean, that's that's the explanation. <clears throat> so anyway, the, the Lord spent a lot of time. The two videos, one is called Judgment, and it's spelled without an E in it. Uh, J-U-D-G-M-E-N-T. The Judgment is the name of the video. And it's um, 
from an old cowboy western series, TV series in the 60s called The Virginian. I'll put a link there for you. But in essence, that particular judge uh, had to stand up against what is right when the whole city uh, was being bullied. And the judge went against what the people of the city wanted because they were being bullied and what the people that were bullying wanted and stood by himself to say, this is right and this is wrong. Uh, he even went on to um, remove himself from the bench after a trial because of threats on his family, especially his daughter. In that same series, uh, the series was called The Virginian, but later um, you hear um, the men from Shiloh, and that has a ring because Shiloh was a biblical word. Um, even Jacob stated that uh, we will wait until Shiloh comes. But in, in that particular series, which was later in the Virginian series, Lee Majors joined the crowd back in, in that time. There's one called The West versus Colonel McKenzie. And Colonel McKenzie, you had replaced this old judge as the owner of Shiloh Ranch. <clears throat> but he stood against the whole Cattlemen's Association and the bullying that the Cattlemen's Association was doing, which was up to in including uh, setting people up uh, and then hanging them for false causes. Uh, but Colonel McKenzie came in for his first time on the scene and he did that. And that's two of the videos the Lord used to show me judgment. And in exercising judgment, I know that in the future, as I do this, the Lord has called me to do, uh, I'll make enemies. But they're, they're not only just my enemy, they're, you know, they're enemies of Jesus Christ. People that have been bullying people um, into positions that the people would not normally go into. A good example is ministers preaching falsely. Um, people that are in the pulpit shouting out false doctrines. If we were to live back in the day when Paul was around, uh, there'd be ministers just going crazy over some of the things that ministers say today. They would be I mean, you would be a laughing stock to follow some of these ministers that literally are on our televisions today um, if we were to execute judgment as rendered by Paul in the New Testament. Um, there's another good example when Paul was <clears throat> dealing with the Corinthians. Yeah, it was Corinthians in his um, letter. He talked to one, he talked to the group, and a guy had done, uh, he had had intercourse with his mother. And Paul stated from distance with the letter, I have already judged this. And Paul was exercising judgment as he wrote the letter and, and uh, ends up that if you read Second Corinthians, you end up seeing that it's a that the thing turned out well because of people listened to Paul and um, executed judgment to run the guy out of the church. The guy ended up being in repentance. <coughs> so that's that's the thing that the Lord spent a, a lot of time with me, uh, basically showing me that many of us, if we do what the Lord wants us to do. Uh, we'll, we'll stand alone with him, not alone, but alone with him. And other people, perhaps, may follow after we stand up to the uh, powers to be that are coming. And guys, I, this is not the end of the time for the United States. This is the maybe the end of the third quarter. But there's a whole other fourth quarter that's got to be played. You know, you see people running around with four of them, like we're going to dominate the fourth quarter. It's going to be very interesting to watch this fourth quarter because there's going to be some some things go on that people are going to be, uh, we're going to have a revival here in this fourth quarter. So anyway, 
that was the one thing the Lord spent a lot of time with me was in, in judgment. And there's going to be some other videos come out um, to support that. And one specifically about salt of the earth. So I'll let you go and catch you on the next time.